and welcome back to Posh Cats Camping. I'm Trev. I'm Sue. And we're about to start our European tour of 2022. Well, we made it to the Black Horse Farm at Folkestone, as you probably saw as we came in here. The site has filled up a bit over the afternoon. We've um, had a little walk around the site with the dogs, a nice doggy walk over the back here. We're on the part of the campsite that's um, set aside for people that are leaving early in the morning for, for a ferry or the Eurotunnel. And uh, it's very comfortable, uh, right adjacent to a facilities block. So we're not gonna disturb anyone here when we wake up early in the morning and start moving around. Well, good morning. It's um, half past four. I didn't know there was a half past four. We'll get down to the terminal. We're going to get there for five o'clock. Our train is scheduled for 7.35. Lots of clogs and bangs. Yeah. Clickety clankety. What an incredible thing. As Kev just said, how exciting! Mm. Yeah. Got to make sure you've got enough space. Yeah, I think we're alright at the moment. When we go through these doorways, where the joins are, there's you doors. Have to, you have to check. Shut. Make sure. You don't know when he's going to stop, do you? No. He's stopping now. Yeah, just hang back here. Mm. Because those doors, carriage doors, shut as a safety measure. Well, thank you to Sue for that last little bit of footage. We, we, we weren't far on the train actually. Um, don't feel like we've driven very far on the train. Uh, just a few carriages. Um, but we're on and we're now uh, waiting for departure. Well, I've just detected some movement. <laughs> There's a little window there. That's the only way we can tell that we're moving. Uh, now that <laughs> I thought, hang on, the band's rocking about a bit. Well, we're pulled over onto French Air. We, we actually stopped at uh, a Carry Four a supermarket, got a few groceries, and filled up with fuel. And then, silly me, I forgot to put the cap on, and the uh, door was flapping open on the fuel cap. So, we've pulled up on this air, and we're going to stop for some lunch.
We have discovered that Kev, Kev has uh, got a love of faffing. It's uh, short for faffing around. <coughs> Here he comes. <laughs> Sorry, Kev. Yeah. Trev's just spotted that they have donkey poo bags by every bin, so you can pick them up. <laughs> I'll edit that bit out. So this is, is this a walk then, Trice? Yeah, are they the three liberty bins? Uh, just a little further along the canal here. It's very pretty. Well, we're just about ready to leave and we're heading to uh, Epinay, aren't we, Sue? Yeah. And we had croissants for breakfast. We did. From, from the patisserie or the boulangerie? Yes. Is it? I think so. <laughs> then uh, on the main street there, Tracy went shopping for us. We've had a lovely night under just show you. beautiful trees, haven't we? Yeah, it's been a really peaceful night. We just pulled over in Epinay. We've driven around the town a couple of times, couldn't find any parking, but we are looking for some champagne and I think we've found some. Let's go see what's over here. <laughs> yeah. Now Sue's got the bag. <laughs> and it, of champagne, Six yes, I, th I think it's um, appropriate you should carry it. <laughs> you lead the way, my dear. It was a so, long journey, wasn't it? Yeah, a bit of a journey that one, but yeah. it was, the roads were lovely and clear. Not yeah. so many lorries. Yeah. So it's nope. a Saturday yep. today. Started yep. off yep. Uh, on non toll uh, motorways and uh, uh, on roads and um, did the bulk of it on the motorway. Mm. We, we stepped it up a little bit so just, just to come, get down here. Just come through a town and that was called. Uh, we, we were outside a town called Merceau. We've just come through a town called Volney. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Um, before that, a town called uh, Pomard, mm -hmm. and these are all the uh, famous uh, French wines. Because yeah. this is the key um, wine growing region uh, yeah. of France and probably the world, um, yeah. or one of the places in and the world. So we've walked just 50 yards or so from the van, just uh, this way, 
<laughs> and we've picked up a better position. We're on a little ridge here, looking across the valley, down over the vineyards. It's uh, quite a sight to see. Beautiful cloudy sky and there's uh, groups of pickers with their vehicles and uh, cyclists. Uh, Kev said he was here three years ago and cycled some of those lanes um, but it really is beautiful. Let's just take a look. So here's the property we were standing behind just now and uh, the views of the fields and uh, fields of vineyards here. Kev's doing a little piece with his camera there and all up the hill as well behind us the road there and then up the hill as far as the eye can see there's vineyards and that's where your French wines come from Beautiful campsite it is. This episode we go from the Chateau de la Pavière campsite and we stop off at Annecy where the lake is, a beautiful place and we get some shopping there and then we move on to the uh, campsite near Deux Alpes in the French Alps called 
or shampoo to roll in. Annecy and Annecy Lake. What a beautiful place this was. There was very, very busy, lots of traffic, and uh, we tried a car park and a uh, motorhome air, and everywhere was so full. We decided to view it from the vehicle and then go and do a little bit of shopping at Aldi. feel like we're on top of the world here in, in the French Alps. Hope you can hear me, it's a little bit of a breeze going on. Turn you around and you can see where we are. We just put our little sticker on the board, on the road sign actually, but we're, <laughs> we're way up here. I don't think anyone's going to even notice it. Uh, way up here on the ridge, overlooking and surrounded by the beautiful French Alps. It's lovely. A bit of Scotland, actually. Yeah, there is, there is uh, similarities. Yeah. Uh, I think the roads are narrow in Scotland. Yeah. Um, they seem to have two way roads here, whereas Scotland's single track with passing places. Yeah. It's a nice place to wild camp. Hey! There's motorhomes down there. Well, 
Well, we just set up our um, nice little, uh, quiet, private little garden, and all of a sudden the air raid sirens went off. Well, we think they're doing a practice, don't we, Kev? <laughs> you enjoying that, wife? It's mozzies. Nice, quiet cup of tea. Oh, mozzies. Well, good morning. <laughs> you didn't think you'd see me wearing my hat, did you? I know, you were just out of sight, I was down the bottom there. Oh. You've got some technical issues. No way. Oh. Okay. Kev said you had technical issues. So are you, you both going to go in no the front? Way. You two go in the front and... Because we'll hold you all. Well, we've come along the, uh, the cycle path here and um, we've all made it, it's probably about half a mile. And we're, we're following this beautiful river. And... Uh, Tracy's taking a few snapshots. So I thought I'd get the camera out and show you where we are. We're all novices at this cycling lark, except this one. He's a right expert, he is. Look at him. Yeah, proper bike as well. <laughs> that's, uh, that's newbies are um, finding it a bit tender on the body. So, uh, are you finding it tender on the body? I've got my padded pants. Have you? I I've got all the gear and no idea. Ah, oh, that's a good one. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. <laughs> I've, second time on a I'm bike. I'm all shout and no clout, me. Yeah, well. Yeah. I've, I've cycled the furthest I ever have in my whole life. You've done brilliantly. So, well done. I mean, yeah. we're not miles away from the campsite. No, we're but not. I'm, I've, I've given it a go. We're about half a mile, I would say, and uh, it's not a flat track. It's it's quite, as you can see here, it's quite rustic and ru uh, rugged in places and bumpy. So, um, done well. Thank you. And there's lots of little uh, challenges along the way here. I think we're ready to start again, so I'll put the camera away and we'll see you a, a little further along. in the town. What's the name of the town, Kev? Borg de Seine. Borg, Borg de, Seine. de Seine. Okay, yeah. And look, it's very pretty with the uh, mountains in the background.
No, the front of the Sunday. Oh. Well, there's been thunder and lightning, and we did a mad dash getting the furniture in just as this happened. I left me back door open on the van. Oh so uh, I need to take the first opportunity to get out there and shut that. Uh, absolutely pouring down. Just went out for a second time. <laughs> the boot is now closed. Oh, out of breath. That was a real dash, wasn't it? Real dash to uh, get in uh, dry. We had to close very, very quickly. Close the roof hatches. It's still mid, mid upper twenties here, um, and the thunder, the cracks of thunder. I tried to catch a couple on on um, on camera, but they were so loud they made the van vibrate. Um, but of course they're so intermittent that you don't know where they're coming. Um, we've got a little bit of moisture on our fly screens but they'll we're gonna leave them because they'll dry but uh, Smurf's getting a good wash <laughs> and we're currently staying at the Estorel caravanning what do you make of that then okay. and no I'm not going on the back <laughs> I might just be having one of my own what do you think Kev I can turn myself. <laughs> <laughs> crazy, crazy people. Yeah. Hey, Kev. <laughs> it's all or nothing, isn't it? Hey, hey, come on in. It's all right once you're moving, isn't it? Made it down to the seafront, the Mediterranean's just on my right here, and the beach, and uh, we're just taking a pause. <laughs> we both agreed it was, it was such a thrill. Um, I don't know if the camera picked it up, but I was saying that the last time I rode a motorbike was when I was 19. So that's a good, uh, more than 40 years ago. Uh, and it was a Honda 550K3, for those who know what they are. Four, four cylinders, four exhaust pipes, and a uh, beautiful machine of its day. But um, this is light as a feather, sharp as a knife, this one. Well, we're all snuggled up in a little Eldis, aren't we? We are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's and drive on for a night, huh? We're going on a it's night out, and Kevin is our chauffeur. Hello. <laughs> He just uh, negotiating the corner then, so he did really well. Yeah. We're heading down to San Rafael. Well, there's a few boats down here. Mm. Bigger than our motor home. Well, the harbour looks very different in the dark, Kev. 
Oh, it certainly does, doesn't it? It looks beautiful. Yeah, it looks beautiful, mate. And there's yeah. a bars, isn't there? There is, and a lovely vibe. Yeah. Well, the restaurants are full, which is... Uh, that's great to see, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's lovely. Yeah, it's lovely. Yeah, well, we'll see if we can find the motorhome. We're now going to cross the border into Italy today, which is all very exciting. So where have you brought us then, Kev? Right, well we brought you uh, down to a place called Gitaldo Alto. Yeah, that's the sort of view you'd get. The great reveal. Yeah, well, it's as I said, ah, there you can see there. Yeah. That there is all there, put out, so from the restaurant. Yeah. So at night time, it's super because it's just lit. So oh, it's going to come up now. It's beautiful. What's coming up? The vinicola, the vinicola. Vernicular Railway. Just um, through the arch, yeah, 
found those when they took, you know, they took the blast off it yeah. over the years and then they the left them as they had. Today we're off to Luka, which is about an hour's drive. Yesterday we went to hire a car at uh, Florence Airport. Kevin and I took a Smurf along and I parked in the 20 minute waiting bay while he collected a car that we'd pre-ordered. Well, here we are in one of the big squares here. Beautiful buildings. Tourists all around us taking photographs. The stairs. We've got a little surprise at the top of this tower. You may have seen a clip of it just now. I'll show you a better picture when we get down the bottom. We start to see rooftops. And then we go up the steep steps to the top. And you can see the tower with the bells in that we saw earlier. And lots of rooftops. And the tiny steps. Ooh, breathe in. No more chips for me. Oh, there we are. Are we up there? Yeah, last uh, stair away. Oh my word, there's another one. <laughs> okay. This is spin. Well, we made it to the top and now we've got a panoramic view of Luca. And from this side. The last look before we head down. Well, good morning. We're out and about again. And today, Kev and the car, the hire car, Kev's just uh, checking out the uh, car park, make sure we can find it. Um, we've come to Florence. 
and just as you come around the corner, it hits you. The beauty of the place. Busy. Beautiful, isn't it? It's difficult to actually get the detail. Uh, even if we zoom in, you see all the little detail in there. Amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Amazing. Staggering. Well, the streets are crowded and it is beautiful. From any angle, really. Vanilla with dark chocolate, right? Yes. On top is a drizzle. You want milk or dark? What do you mean? Milk or dark as a drizzle on top? Milk. Well, progress has been made and look, the zoo is still nice and tidy and then it's very tidy and not at all messy. How are you getting on mate? <laughs> not so good there Trump. Are you not? No. You're getting all over your hands mate. Oh, 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 oh. oh he's, he's, he's in trouble. He's melting, he's falling to pieces. He's in trouble. He's falling apart. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> well, we continue down towards the river, and uh, just everywhere you look, there's a photograph to be had. It's beautiful here in Florence. down to uh, Ponte Vecchio, which is the river. Ponte Vecchio.
Welcome back to Posh Cats Camping. We've arrived at San Marino and this is the Centro Vacanze site which we booked on the Caravan and Motorhome Club site back in January. We arrived uh, yesterday and uh, we've spent a day here already. Um, last night we went along to uh, the main city. We went by taxi and I'll show you a few pictures of it. Well, we've come to San Marino. We've come up the hill in a taxi and what a cracking view. We're going into the historic centre now, so uh, the others have already gone ahead. We'll catch them up. Well, in the historic centre now. It's going to have a good look around, don't we, guys? Yeah. yeah. Well, the streets are very steep. Mm. Lots of shops. And lots of. Beautiful buildings again. We're starting to appreciate just how high up we are here. The views are amazing. Well, here's the cable car. We came by taxi and by foot. And uh, uh, cable car, the gondola is here. Uh, look, let's have a look over the edge at the view. Oh my word, don't drop your camera, Trev. I know. It's a long way down. It's got dark here at San Marino, uh, beautiful sunset tonight and uh, everything is beginning to look different.
Let's have a little bit of doggy fun. Do you like it then, Sophie? How do you like the beach? A bit stony, isn't it? Yeah, Oscar likes to drink the milk. Yeah. Like a soggy. How pretty is that? Lake Garda. Yeah. It looks like it's a little island over there. Oh, look, I've chosen the table in the sea. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, happy holidays everyone. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Hey. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers, my dears. Uh, Tracy, in your best Italian, what you got then? I've got a... a, a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the best you <laughs> I can't so? remember. It's a panad panadina? What, what was it? Um, a sandwich. You got a sandwich? <laughs> Well, look at the cheese. But you did order it in your... In look your, at the cheese and giant oh, tomatoes. We ordered it in Italian. Your best what, Italian. I was out. very proud of you girls. Well, that would have been written yes. down. I can't remember but what we it remember was the British. Well, Panadina. you got, Kev. Same yeah. as me. Yeah. <laughs> Jack. Oh. <laughs> well, it was worth waiting for, Kev, wasn't it? Yes, hey, was well, look at that, eh? Hey? Yeah, yeah. A yeah. bruschetta. Yeah. And no um, mine's a bruschetta porto, which is the fish one. And yours is the classic. Yes, which is tomato. tomato and oregano. Indeed, very nice. Ah, oh yeah. Oh, and some olive oil. Oh, there's a napkin here. So many more smiles today. We're still at Lake Garda and uh, we're at Solo, which is where we came to yesterday on our bicycles. And uh, the sun is still shining. And we found a fabulous campsite. It's one, again, that uh, Kevin Tracy knew about. They contacted them and they said that they could offer us five nights. So we've really settled in and uh, relaxed. Um, they've got a super pitch, so they've got a really nice size pitch with uh, services on their pitch. We're on a standard pitch, so we're in the next field, in the next area, but um, just as nice. And we're surrounded with uh, three young families and uh, a Dutch couple, and uh, it's very comfortable. Just wandering around, having a look at some of these beautiful 
buildings now. We just had a lovely breakfast. Now I thought I might have a little bit of breakfast. So I have the banana pancake and I have an Americano. And Sue's gone for a smoothie over there. Mm. We're wandering around this beautiful old town. And we've made it to our next venue, haven't we? Mm -hmm. oh, and where yeah, are we I'll this time, Sue? Lake Como. You are okay, lovely. Yeah, Lake Como. And we're with uh, Kevin Tracy again on our long tour of Europe. We've had and cake and coffee, birthday cake and coffee with a firework on it. We have, and I'll show you a picture of that in a moment. But we're at the little family-owned uh, campsite on the lake called the, the Golden, Golden Sheep. Sheep. Yeah, and this is Sue's choice, and uh, Sue always comes up trumps with these little campsites, don't you? <laughs> Lovely uh, facilities here, um, nice and cosy on the site, and it's literally, what, 15 yards from the water? Yep. Yeah, just in that direction in front of us here. So we're going to go down there now, we're going to take the dogs with us. It's a warm day, there's plenty of um, shelter along there, and uh, we're going to go and find a restaurant and have a cup yeah. of it's a bit too hot to leave them there. Yeah, so we're just going to go for a gentle walk along the lake, just into the town area down here, about 15 minutes. Well, as you can see, we're Tracy and Kev and ourselves, we've decorated the place a bit. I've got lots of presents not, in my cards. We've not gone over the top, have we? No, I've got four <laughs> surprises in the birthday cards. Yeah, lots of surprises today. Yeah. And there'll probably be some more. Uh, we're going to go for this nice walk now, and uh, just along the path here down to the gate. I'll show you where the gate is. You can literally see it from our pitch here. Just down there. And there's, the, there's the lake, look. So here's the gate into our campsite and just literally on the lake. And uh, what beautiful, stunning views we've got from here. 
you can't be that, can you? Well, it is beautiful. We're just walking along this path here on the shade of the trees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could have done your editing yeah. under the tree there with your jackery. So you come up with a great idea. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we'll do that later, shall we, Kev? Yeah, we'll do have that. Have some man time, shall we? Yeah, we'll have some. Now. We'll bring that bottle of champagne with us, though, won't we? Oh, definitely. <laughs> if they think they're getting it all. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah, we haven't put, it's on ice at the moment. The champagne. Uh, today, lovely, and today is the uh, the big day, Sue's 60th anniversary of being on planet Earth. How about that? Well, we're just getting ready to open the bubbly. And uh, Sue said she didn't want to open it, but she's going to, aren't okay, you? So. It's going to go pop. It will go pop. Uh, I'll prepare it for you and then you can do the final pop. Are you going to pop it? Uh, it's ready to go. Just turn the, what? turn the bottle, not the cork. So. If you put your hand over the cork like that, okay, not on the bottle though, that hand on there, and then with that... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bit premature. <laughs> the cork is not. She popped a cork on it too premature. I didn't know I touched it, and that was ready to pop. Well, that's the quickest I've ever popped a cork. <laughs> oh, they usually take longer than that, don't they? I think we've got a little burner on that. No, Kev yeah. had bought uh, Trev had bought you some sixty candles, but the six was broken when I've got them out the box. Oh, I oh, never mind. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, it doesn't matter. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's brilliant. That's that. great. Did you get it on there? I think so. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. I've never had a cake like that. Well here we are, we've arrived at the restaurant, the girls are just going up the steps and uh, we have got a balcony table so it should be quite nice. Wow, some comprehensive Although menus I would, I would here. Lots of deliberation like going on. Sue so can't make her mind up either. And there's me. Have you seen, through the pages. Have you seen the tortelloni there, Sue? Not really, Fresh you know what I'm doing. Tortelloni <laughs> stuffed with vegetables and ricotta and <laughs> we'll saffron get there and in the end. with walnuts and carrot. That's so nice. So what have we got here then, Kev? What's it called? Marina... 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 <laughs> It's somewhere, somewhere like. Well, we nearly got it. Yeah. It's tomato, yeah, tomato, garlic, and uh, oregano. It's like a pizza, isn't it? And we're going to share that. And the girls over here have got a similar. Mm. What was that one, Trace? We've got focaccia with olive oil and salt. Sounds lovely. What do you think, babe? Mm. No, Very nice. good for you. So you got the old uh, lasagna there, Kev? Yeah, this isn't just any lasagna. Oh, really? This is Italian lasagna. The Italian lasagna. Not even M&S. Can you <laughs> <M's>. <laughs> and Tracy's got the same. With a little a pepper, pepper on. on it. Yeah. What have got there, Sue? Is that ravioli? A sort of tortelloni. 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 Oh. 
Oh, okay. Oh, very nice. And I've gone for the uh, lemon whitefish with mashed potatoes. Yeah, it just have to be different. Mm. So what you got this time, Kev? Panna cotta. Panna cotta. Yeah, panna cotta. Caramel. Yeah. yeah. And you, yeah, you've been having a sneaky little try, haven't you? I, I couldn't wait. I mean, no, I couldn't, you couldn't. Really you couldn't. couldn't. I could tell. Oh, he goes again, look. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, dearie me. So where have you brought me to this time, Kevin? Just up a small hill. This up time. a little hill, yeah. did you? Yeah, we're at. Um, <laughs> we're on the. Uh, well, let me just look over there. The Suston Pass. Is that right? Yeah, a place called uh, uh, Gandon. I'll go and take a picture of the sign in a minute. Yeah, yeah, and it's uh, actually two thousand two hundred and twenty meters. Yeah, yeah, I'm measuring it in degrees centigrade. Yeah, Kev. and it's about ten degrees. Yeah, it's about ten yeah. degrees. I'm shivering, and that's yeah. the first time in months. Yeah, that we, we've been shivering. We're used to uh, temperatures of around thirty-five yeah, plus, thirty-six. Yeah, um, and it's, strangely enough, when we're coming through the tunnel just down at the bottom of the mountain, yeah, um, the long tunnel, the sixteen-kilometer tunnel, it was uh, thirty-two degrees. Yeah, in there, in the middle. This is Route 11, um, yeah. which is the uh, 39, which yeah. um, the Caravan and Motorhome Club satellite recommended the Route 30, which is further down and it takes you uh, way around this mountain. We've come through the pass, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah. So uh, I wouldn't do it with the caravan, but certainly with Smurf and, uh, and your van here. Oh, yeah, I mean, the, problem, nice really. and steady. I mean, yeah. Um, yeah. No problem with the vans right. coming up. And there's a bit of snow, but yeah. there's no skiing yet, is no, there? No, there's no skiing. But the, 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 this is one of the hostels, isn't it? Yeah. I'll yeah. show you that in a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's, uh, we, might, uh, we might get the drone up. Ooh. Be going oh, then. I'll go yeah. get the drone ready. Yeah, um, you I'll, do that and I'll take I'll a few I'll do a check shots. on the app anyway and make sure it's safe to fly. Yeah. And there's a little uh, bit of a breeze. There is a bit of a breeze here, yeah. but I just want to take a shot over the vans, really, that's yeah. all. That work, right? Yeah. Well, here we are, look, standing behind the vans, and the view across here is spectacular. The girls have just walked down here with the dogs and down to the lake. I think Oscar and Sophie had a little drink from the cold lake water. Uh, somebody down there with a transporter parked up. But what a fantastic view. Just give it a little bit of a zoom in. That is amazing. It's a little bit of a breeze. I hope you can hear me above it. Uh, there's one or two posh cars up here. There's a Corvette, look. And uh, just now there's a Ferrari, big red Ferrari went past. So uh, people getting their th fix from this beautiful road. Just here and then behind here, there's um, there's uh, looks like a cafe or restaurant uh, just behind here uh, on the hill. And then behind, if we go directly behind the vans, 
you can see the hostel where skiers, no doubt skiers stay. Um, uh, up there. It looks like a lot of that is closed at the moment. We've just arrived at our camp in Switzerland and we're really excited because just like we're in the French Alps, we have a river running down the back, which is great. But we've underestimated the temperature. It's going to be minus five and snow on Saturday. So we're going to find a shop tomorrow to buy some warmer clothes. Um, we have electric and a tap and apparently the water's drinkable on site. Oh, look at this! Wow! Look at the scenery! It's absolutely fantastic! Look at it! And I can hear the bells and the cows, which is what I wanted to see. And you can see just a bit in the distance that that mountain's got snow on it. Oh, we've made it to Camping de, de Lille. Uh, de Lille? Yeah, put it on the screen. Um, and it's in Colmar, or just outside um, the beautiful city of uh, Colmar. Well, good morning. We are at Colmar in France, and today we're going for a little walk into the town, the very pretty town of Colmar. And, um, Kev stayed back at the van, he's not feeling too well, he's a bit under the weather, so uh, 
The three of us, two girls and myself, are going to explore Colmar. There's circular seating areas under the fountain look over there. Oh yeah. And this is what's known as Little Venice in Colmar. It's a little train that's going across. It takes you around the uh, around the town to all the through all the little streets. And all the way along here, along the canal, there's little hearts, little locks that have been put on the uh, railings. With people's names on. Smells coming from these cafes. And this is the Romantic Hotel and restaurant. That's how pretty is that.
the rain has finally stopped so uh, fortunately we've uh, managed to take a nice little break have a sandwich and uh, we've been parked here about 40 minutes half an hour 40 minutes Here's the Inter Marche. Uh, quite a large supermarket. Well, after a little challenge of map reading, Google Maps, and uh, a huge shopping complex and commercial center with all sorts of uh, big corporates, <laughs> retail outlets, and all sorts of services, all in this area of Troy's, we found it. We found the uh, car, car parking area where the motorhomes were allowed to park, and there were some electric charging points as well. Um, and we thought this isn't where the MacArthur Glen uh, air is because it's just daytime parking for shopping. So uh, Sue went into the centre and met a couple of uh, French people that had got motorhome and they're here tonight as well. Um, there's probably room for about 50 vans here but I would say there's probably about 18, 20 at the most. Some over that side, through the middle and around the edge here. Um, so we're staying here for a couple of nights. We've got a full tank of um, fresh water. Our grey tank is uh, clear and our black tank is refreshed. So we're good to go for a couple of nights. We might change that because we've got still got a fair journey to get to Calais before Sunday. Um, my cold is still here. I'm still a bit sort of, um, you know, bunged up with my cold but and um, Kevin's really struggling with his so he's having an early night I'm gonna go across and have a McDonald's which is something I only ever do with the grandchildren for fun um, but there is one over there and it's uh, I'm just feeling lazy tonight I think it's gonna be a bit of a sunset as well so I'll try and catch that for you but um, we'll see you in the morning if we don't see you before
Well, there's an interesting feature as you enter the site here. This little tunnel. And I travelled in behind Kev. I'll show you the footage again over while I'm talking. And uh, Tracy actually got out to see if there was clearance. I thought there would be, but it's not entirely even. It's not an even circle, it's quite lopsided. Uh, especially at the far end, as you can probably see. But uh, we've got reasonable clearance with our motorhomes. There is a barrier and there's number plate recognition to the site here, but that appears to be open most of the time at the moment. Um, and a little children's play area. We're just out walking the dogs, as you see. And the reception and the welcome is over here, which is where we pulled up. And there's a bar, again, is closed because we're in low season. <clears throat> And behind there is the barn where the facilities are, the showers and toilets, and black waste emptying point as well. But as you see, it's in woodland, and there's lots of static caravans. And one or two open pitches, like the one in front of us here, where camping is allowed. Hookups are available. And uh, over, over here, there's another couple of bunkers from the Second World War, so clearly all around us here there's history. Um, just down there. I'll try and zoom in uh, where the bins are down there. <coughs> um, there's a couple of old buildings that were wartime buildings. Fascinating. And we're parked down the end of this little road where there's three or four large statics. Uh, I don't think they're occupied at the moment. And we're on the end. And a nice grass pitch. I'm away from the road a little bit now and as you can hear it's quite quiet. So there's a morning view of our little setup. Well, we snuck off the campsite at about 7.30 this morning and uh, we've just been, we've arrived at Calais, we've just been in the um, pet reception. Where's the, um, where's the thing that you gave us? Uh, I gave it to you, my lovey. Um, yeah, we've just got some paperwork from the uh, gentleman who we saw in pet reception. We have to put that on our dashboard. Now we're going to drive round to uh, check-in. 
and uh, same performance as last time really when we were coming into France we're going back to Britain back to England so we'll see you around uh, around the other side board Euro Tunnel on the return journey aren't we Sue? Yeah. And um, all very smooth, it's raining or it has been. Um, we're just waiting for the um, the train to start the 35 minute trip back to Folkestone and uh, we've been through all the checks haven't we? Gas check, um, passport checks twice didn't we? Yeah. And then because uh, they do a French one and then a United Kingdom one. Um, what else do we do? We stop for coffee. Um, and now they're going to do the announcements. Yeah, do the announcements. And then um, we'll be um, moving along. So um, thank you for watching our tour. We've uh, really enjoyed bringing it to YouTube. And um, we've got a couple of weeks at home, and then we're going to the NEC show in um, Birmingham yeah yeah and we're staying at Summers Wood so we'll see you on the next video whenever that might be bye for now bye